navigating the intricate interplay between individual liberties and communal obligations is a multifaceted endeavor. Judge Andrea Jarman sided with defense attorneys who disputed the charges of criminal trespass for three of the six defendants. As to the uh, charge of criminal trespass in a second degree, the court decided on probable cause. The protest on January 6th was part of an action to show support for Palestinian people in Gaza. The group went onto the freeway in the early afternoon and stayed there until sundown. The state patrol was ready to make arrests, but waited out the protesters who left on their own. Investigators relied heavily on digital evidence in their investigation into who was on the freeway that day, referring 12 people to prosecutors. While only six have been charged so far, the investigation remains active. Just real quick, what do you think about the allegations here in court? Acknowledging the imperative of upholding laws and regulations, safeguarding public welfare and order, while simultaneously honoring the fundamental right of activists to engage in peaceful demonstrations and exercise freedom of speech. One may scrutinize the potential ramifications of a judicial ruling, undercutting the authority of law enforcement and the judiciary, all the while grappling with the intricate nuances inherent in adjudicating cases intertwined with socio-political activism, valuing adherence to legal frameworks, public safety, and the safeguarding of property rights may take precedence. Expressing apprehension over the dismissal of charges related to unlawful entry, juxtaposed with a compassionate stance toward activists who transgressed legal boundaries. The populace at large typically champions adherence to established legal standards. Viewing judicial decisions that erode the rule of law as perilous precedents that may embolden future protests and demonstrations.